I'm Jaren Merrill, but you probably know me better as Shea Coulee. This is my web series. I'm lofty, I'm a dreamer, I'm an Aquarius. I love long walks to the bank. White wine is my favorite. I feel like I'm making like a dating tape right now. <laughs> if you pick me, I'm sure we'll have a fabulous time together. My name is Brendan Brown and I am Shay's assistant. Shay is just the medium in which Jaren is able to project himself into the world. And I think Shay is probably unique to me because the feeling of her genuineness is just so real. My name is Dan Poliak. I'm her creative director. In the last two years that we've been together, it's kind of just evolved to much more. We really like understand each other creatively. Coming out of the finale of season nine and just like going into crazy touring schedule was insane. It's really like that clip of Lady Gaga where she's like, club, bus, another club, airplane, bus, club, hotel. It's like fourth right now, so I should hustle. You will never shower. You'll never have fresh breath. I'm low-key thinking about moving my life up. It's like, every like one doing the same day of light changing. You could maybe try to see if you could get a red eye. I just gotta make it through the end of this year and all this touring first. It was so surreal. Oh, she was ready to go. She was professional. She said, when it's all over. When it's all over! I felt like I was in a vacuum. I am going to scream. It was just this high pressure, day in and day out drag frenzy. After every show, you could kind of like let loose. <laughs> she moved. She moved. She moved. Oh, 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 oh. I just have to drop off some trash. Like, I wasn't getting any sleep. We got in like the night before and they were like, oh, you should come to bingo. And I was like, bitch, I am oh. sleeping in this bed. Why can't that be me? <laughs> like dead ass knocked out. Just like Same. having the best sleep of my life. I was barely getting any good food. I mean, it was always, air, your, it's airport food, hotel food. There's no meat. It's literally just skin. What the fuck is that? You're sleeping on the plane because the you barely Really get a chance to sleep in the hotel because you're at the club doing the gig till like three in the morning and then you head to the airport at five to like get on the plane at six to head to the next city to probably be there by 2 p.m. to check in at three to maybe get like a nap and do it all over again. What a fucking roller coaster. This time last year, I definitely had a different vision for how I thought my career was going to go. One thing that was really difficult about his season was seeing him come so close to um, snatching the crown and it kind of being changed up last moment. Poet laureate Khloe Kardashian says, when you make plans, God laughs. And uh, laugh she did. I thought that my career would be going in a certain direction, but actually I don't, I cannot complain. This first year is really about touring, working the amazing season, and you go and you do every single gig, and you book gig after gig, you know, save some coin, and you get yourself together to like develop another creative package. You have to produce work, and you know, you need help. Nothing can prepare you for how much your life just changes overnight. Just not having any time to be home around my comfort system and my friends and my family, that combined with like 
losing my dad and losing my sister. It was um, a real bummer that he never got to see me on Drag Race because I just know he would have been really proud. And um, I think it just would have been something that would have made us um, so much closer because ultimately um, I realize I'm more like my dad uh, than anyone else really. Um, and it just sucks that I didn't get a chance to really share my drag with him the way that I wanted, but I'm really grateful that at least he knew. It's the start of a new year, and uh, I'm ready to take this year by storm. That's where I'm at right now. This year's gonna be really sickening. Like, I hope they're ready. I hope I'm ready. I hope we're all ready.